I'm very impressed with the gentleman that I'm going to introduce you to because you've seen him in so many movies, and he, Luke, I feel that I should sort of bow or something. <laughs> you look so elegant. You're going to be the Prime Minister and Anna and the King. It's exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. Do you think that the President's trip to China may be this sort of, uh, was part of the reason for the Oriental influence? Well, I don't think it'll hurt. Yes, when Richard Nixon took his ping-pong paddle to be king, he started a lot of good things. <laughs> Now, you were born in China, weren't you? Yes, I was. I was born in Canton, and I came over here. I was brought over here, rather, when I was three years old. Now, Key, you started out, really, as an artist and an illustrator in Hollywood, didn't yes. you? Yes. Yes, I did publicity artwork for uh, Fox and RKO Theaters. And then you got your big break in the movies. Uh, what was the first movie that you did? Well, the first movie that I did was... Uh, the Painted Veil with Greta Garbo. Greta Garbo. It started right at the top. Yeah, I'll say, have you seen her in recent years? Well, I did see her one time in New York City uh, over near Lexington, but I didn't want to disturb her. She was walking along, minding her own business. I said to myself, mind your own business. <laughs> do you think she'll ever do anything? I know there's been some talk. I, know, I hope she does. Uh -huh. I hope she does, because she's one of those rare things. She's just, to me, she was the embodiment of everything that was glamorous in motion pictures. How many movies all together did you do? Oh, I don't know. I started way back around 1934, and I've been in quite a few, maybe over 100 or so. How many Charlie Chan movies? Well, actually, Charlie Chan movies, I did 11 with Warner Olin. Seems like there were more. Yes, it seems so, uh -huh. yes. You were number one son. <laughs> number one son, <yeah. laughs> Come charging in at the end of the picture, say, Pop, I've got a clue. And then Pop would say, contradiction, please, case closed. Number one son, like last rose of summer, bloom too late. <laughs> there I would be. <laughs> oh, they were wonderful pictures. Yes, they were great, very entertaining. Now, you've been studying voice, you were telling me. Yes, I, I, since uh, I sang in the flower drum song, I've mm -hmm. kept up my voice work, and uh, I enjoy it tremendously. It, well, let us say it's great therapy. Mm -hmm. I don't play golf, so I take singing lessons. And I've been singing some Mozart arias and some uh, German leader. I find it fascinating. Key, are you also studying Mandarin? Is this uh, very difficult? To... No, uh, you see, I speak Cantonese. Uh -huh. And Mandarin and Cantonese is exactly the same language with the same grammatical rules. The only difference is that the pronunciation is so different that you have to learn Mandarin, that's all. Right. It's like an extreme Texas accent compared to, say, a... Uh, a New England accent. You see, there's that difference. In the play once, I'd say, Sui Nei Wu Kong Kong Wa, something like that. But that isn't right. Now, how would you no, say that? No, those are just Chinese phonetics, Oh, I think. It was like, you know, uh, I, I speak Chinese to you, you know, how are you? It was oh, a very simple yes, thing. Oh, yes, yes. Tong Ni Gong Hong Wa. That's Cantonese. <laughs> Sounds a little yeah. different. And in Mandarin, you say, Wa Tong Ni Shuo Bei Ping Wa. See, there's a uh. difference in the sound, you see. We'll certainly enjoy you on Anna and the King, Key Luke, one of our favorites. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.